Step 1. Pattern. Set up two bars of 4-4 with your grid set to 16th notes and your tempo at 136 BPM. Now instead of starting to make your drum beat with the usual kick on beat 1 and snare on the back beats like everyone else does, you're going to start by writing your kick and snare pattern on the hi-hats. Wait, what? I know that seems like a really odd thing to do, but this method is going to result in a far more creative and therefore advanced drum beat. Okay, so there are many ways to write a creative pattern, but here's an easy method. Start by playing every eighth note, then delete a couple of those. This creates variation. And then move one or two hits over to the next sixteenth note. This creates surprise. Step 2. Beat. Right, now that you've written a creative rhythm, it's time to turn it into a drum beat. To do that, simply divide up your pattern between the kick and the snare. In other words, move some notes to the kick and others to the snare. But instead of falling back into the conventional approach of kick on beat 1 and snare on the back beats, purposefully avoid doing that in the first bar. This unusual approach in your first bar creates a huge amount of interest that grabs the listener's attention. But if you repeat this approach in your second bar, it won't sound as interesting anymore as they'll be expecting it. So in your second bar, you're purposefully going to switch to a conventional approach with the kick on beat 1 and snare on the back beats, i.e. beats 2 and 4. This cycling back and forth between an unconventional bar and a conventional bar keeps your listeners constantly engaged. And a shout out to Royal Blood and especially their drummer Ben Thatcher, as this lesson is based on his beat from their new single, Mountains at Midnight. And just before we jump into the next step, if there's an artist you want us to hack, drop us a comment. Also, are you new to music theory or are you experienced but you want a refresher? Then download our free book. It only takes 30 minutes to read, then you'll have a solid theory foundation that you can instantly apply to your songwriting and producing. You can get the free book at hackmusictheory.com. Step 3. Pulse. This is the easy part. Just add an eighth note pulse on a cymbal. This simple rhythm glues the complex beat together. Ben actually switches the pulse between the hats for the verses and the crash for the choruses. And by the way, if you need more help with your beats, head on over to hackmusictheory.com drums and download our Hack Drum Beats PDF. It contains everything you need to know for making great beats, all in one PDF. <laughs> 